climbingarborist.com. In this episode of Basic Climbing Techniques, I'm going to discuss the DMM Triple Attachment Pulley, also known as the Hitch Climber, um, and I'm going to explain a few of the benefits it gives the climbing arborist. To set up the Hitch Climber system, first tie on the desired friction hitch. Uh, this can vary uh, for personal preference and depending on the type of cordage and the style of rope that you're using. So I'm just tying a VT um, with Ocean Polyester and New England Tachyon uh, for this demonstration. Once you've set the friction hitch, take the triple attachment pulley, separate the two sheaves, place it below the hitch and then take the carabiner and go through the bottom hole of the triple attachment pulley and then spin around the carabiner so the gate opens at the bottom then take the termination end and you can either connect it in the middle hole like I've done here or you can also connect it through the top hole um, leaving the middle hole available um, which as I'll explain um, can be beneficial for work positioning systems So a huge benefit to using the um, hitch climber pulley is when you when you have it all set up, you have your termination in either the middle hole or the top hole. It keeps everything nice and in line, and there's because there's always tension on it. Even when you pull down from above and then tend your slack, it keeps this whole system uh, nice and tight whereas if you're using a system that you have the termination and carabiner going direct to the anchor bridge and then you have just a single point attachment pulley with another carabiner also going to the anchor bridge when you when you pull down from above it then makes the, the pulley on the single point attachment go all slack um, because you're taking the weight off of it so then that can slide down your bridge and everything goes sort of all slack and floppy um, whereas with the triple attachment pulley because it's all connected through the pulley there's always tension on it so it always stays there nice and firm and in front of you um, so it just keeps everything nice and tidy um, doesn't flop around. That's why this pulley is so great for arborists. Um, another great benefit to the hitch climber pulley is because there's actually three points of attachment on the pulley and you're only using two of them, it leaves one hole free. Um, so if you connect your termination end to the top hole, it's leaving this middle hole free. And where you can utilize that hole is with your lanyard so I'm going to connect the lanyard through the middle hole there take the lanyard around the back of the main stem and because I'm using a <coughs> I've got a pinto pulley I can actually connect the end of my lanyard to the becket of that pulley tension it up and then that just gives me this fantastic work positioning system um, and because it's all connected through the hitch climber pulley it's all nice and in line um, and it just gives me that fantastic work positioning system and my bridge isn't all cluttered up with different uh, carabiners sort of pressing against each other possibly cross loading each other um, Obviously, if you're not using a pinto pulley on your lanyard, you can you can connect that to maybe your anchor ring or swivel like I've got here. Um, 
use that same effect as well. So that's another benefit to the hitch climber pulley. It just makes it that that much better than using a single attachment pulley. Note that you mustn't use a termination knot with the hitch climber pulley because as you can see here the bulkiness of the knot can sit above and around the friction hitch which can cause it to collapse. So DMM, the manufacturer of the pulley, say that you shouldn't use a termination knot.